salt. Did you know the city uses over 2,000 tons of salt in an average winter season? It is, of course, one way to keep the city streets safe, but using too much salt can be wasteful and have a negative effect on the environment. But the city of Coon Rapids is turning to new technology this winter to help monitor salt usage and to enhance the overall snowplow operation. And joining me now to explain more is Jim Lewis, street supervisor for the city of Coon Rapids. Jim, thanks for being here. You're welcome. Well, let's talk about why the city has to put salt down on the streets in the first place. Well, years ago, they used to put sand down and sand was more of a filler when it would wash and rain, it'd go in the ditches and you'd have to clean out the ditches and haul it out. Salt is, is a product that when it gets mixed with the, with the proper air temperature and the moisture, it's very effective. Uh, the problem with salt is, is when the temperatures get below 25 degrees, you have to use a considerably more amount of salt to get the same uh, end product out of it. And uh, for cutting into the ice and making the roads less slippery, you know. Sure. And, and then again, people like to drive too fast. Mm. And so they see the salt down and they're pretty much good to go, but there, there's a balancing act. Sure. For, for, for all this environmentally wise and as far as people driving down the roads. Okay, so the city looking at that environmental component, sounds like there's some new natural products that you're trying this year for this salt and snow season? Yes, there is, yes there is. There is a uh, uh, Ice Bite 55 we're trying this year. It's a beet juice product that when you mix it with salt brine, it'll work under lower temperatures and it'll be very effective as if almost like it was 30, 40 degrees. Okay. And it won't allow the moisture on the pavement to refreeze, okay. which is another thing because black ice, people when they're parking their cars and they're sitting idling, it creates a lot of black ice. Well, this product mixed with the salt will, uh, won't let that happen. And it works for lower temperatures under 25 degrees? Yes. Okay, yes. because typical salt will not work unless the temperature right. is 25 it, and above? Yes, it just takes more product to get it to work. Okay. And it's uh, quite a bit slower. Now, what about the aspect of the city wanting to use less salt? There's always a desire for that, right? Probably both environmentally for the streets, but now you've invested in some new technology to yes. help with that effort? Yes, data control, a okay. data control system for, e for each of the trucks. Okay. And what that will do is, that will give the operator more information as far as putting down salt and then even management will have that information. So that will help with perhaps cutting down on usage a little bit. You'll be able to use less salt, hopefully. Yes. But this is of course new this season. The, yes, <laughs> it, yes and no. And then it's all mother nature related. Sure, <laughs> sure. With the events and uh, we're starting out really good. But then less salt could help the environment as well? Yes, yes it could. And maybe it saves money in the long run for the city? Correct, yes, it, it would save the city a considerable amount of money. Okay, well. And, and the uh, governments that have been running these units have also said that. Anoka County is using the same product that we are. Okay. And uh, they're just really impressed with how it's working for them. Now we're inside Public Works headquarters and Jim is going to show us how this new technology works. First of all, explain that this has a lot of features as far as tracking your truck routes and data. The, the features it has is incredible. As you can see, the trucks are in the shop and then from there they would go load it over there at the salt shed and then as they leave and they drive down the road, you can tell from the monitor they're de-icing how much salt they're putting down. If the plows are down, you can tell the air temperature, the actual air temperature outside. You can tell the actual pavement temperature outside. And uh, as they go do their routes and they get finished, uh, you can dispatch somebody else to help somebody else because you'd be able to see when the routes would be done. And, and this is live time communication? This is live time communication. Okay. This is, it's incredible. This is the unit that will get mounted in the plow trucks and it's picked up by Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah, this is the box that does it all and gathers all the information. And that's what's feeding the data into your computer system that you're monitoring everything that's going on in the trucks. Yes, correct. And then as far as tracking the amount of material it puts down, you can run a report at the end of the shift 
Uh, the guys don't have to worry about absolutely anything as far as trying to figure out how much salt they might have put down and, uh, and where they used it. The, with the watershed district and all the rules and res regulations, I think things will be changing to where they'll want to know how much salt people ha communities have been putting down along the uh, watershed system, along the Mississippi and things of that nature, how much the chlorides are affecting the river. Mm -hmm. And uh, that this will be huge. So between all of these different features, the screens to track the trips of the trucks, you can see all of your trucks out on the route, and then the data ultimately that you can gather. How do you think that's really gonna help you with the whole street cleaning and plowing system here in the city? I think it'll be more efficient, actually quite a bit, quite a bit more efficient because you'll be able to know right on the spot where people are at with their routes. We won't have to, right now what we do is we have to call people and ask how you're doing. How, how long before you're done, things of that nature. So in, so in essence, when we get a full storm and everybody's out plowing, I literally don't have to call 11 people and then try to figure out where to send them. It, it would be all done here and you can look on the map where they're at and you can say, okay, well, truck 45, who's ever operating that? When you get done, you go help truck 27. Mm -hmm. So uh, that'll be huge. And also, when it's dark out, if they have a problem with their sander, I'm going to probably know it before they will, because I'll be able to see the data. Okay. And ultimately, the city wants to make the streets clean and safe, but if you can cut down on some product usage at the same time, is that a win-win? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge win-win for everybody. The environmental, for our grandkids, it, it's, an, it's incredible. Well, thanks for showing us how everything works. I bet you're excited for the snow season. I'm excited for the <laughs> snow season. Let it snow. <laughs> <laughs>